Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. When last we left our intrepid hero, we had finally left Saffron City after gaining the Marsh Badge. We came back to Lavender Town and started to head south, facing a lot of different trainers who were all fishermen and nobody all that impressive. Well, now we come to a spot where our path is blocked by a large Pokemon sleeping in the middle of the road. We can talk to it all we want, but it's just going to say it's a large Pokemon sleeping in the middle of the road. How we want to deal with this is go into our menu, into the items, and play the Poke Flute. And that Poke Flute is going to wake up Snorlax, who, like everybody I know, wakes up very grumpy. Yeah. So now we are going to want to save before this fight. Very important. I put uh, Lapras in the front of the party because we actually do need Snorlax asleep. It is going to help a lot, but we need Snorlax to be asleep. So now we want to switch into Venusaur. There are two Snorlaxes in this game. So like I say, save before you fight it, and that way if you make it faint, you can just reset and do it again. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay, not so perfect. So, let's go back to Lapras and try to sing again. I like the damage that that Razor Leaf did, though. This could be very good. Now, if Lapras can actually survive, this could be okay. Amnesia is fine. Let's just hit that sing. And it worked perfect. So, now we're going to go back into Venusaur. One more Razor Leaf. It's not enough damage. To completely wipe this thing crap. Okay, well, you know what? I gotta do it. I gotta go back to Lapras and try it again. Okay, now this could be bad. And Headbutt's gonna wipe out Lapras. Okay. Now we're in a spot. So, let's see what we can actually do with this. I would prefer if this weren't the case, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. We're in a spot now where that is an absolutely wonderful amount of health. But I'm missing him, because we have nothing to put him to sleep. Right. So, now he's asleep on his own, which is fine. Let's see if we can do it again. Okay, this may be good. The problem is that that's a bit too much damage for a Razor Leaf. Now we're woken up. Okay... And all of a sudden, this fight could take a very long time. So I'm going to go into Charizard, and I am just going to light him on fire. It may or may not do just enough damage. Okay, and it doesn't anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so let's see if Slash will actually work on him, because now Snorlax is asleep. That is great. Okay, so it is very possible this could work. Let's give it a shot. Snorlax is still asleep. Are we doing just enough damage? Absolutely perfect. Ah. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. And perfect! Absolutely wonderful! We caught Snorlax. I was not expecting that at all, actually. But you know what? I'll take it. Oh, wow, man. Any crash you could walk away from. No, I do not. We are... are happy with that. That is totally fine with me. So, now, if we go off to the left, that is just going to be where we fought Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, that's right. We're, we've just come full circle here. Hey, who are you? Oh, electricity. Oh, great. Well, that's okay. I'm not too worried about this guy at all. This particular rocker, well, he's got nothing for us. He's got things that we've faced off a lot. And yeah, because of Lapras's um, fainting, Venusaur is already in the front of the party. So this shouldn't be difficult at all. That Voltorb goes down. And that's fine. So now out comes an Electrode. Well, we don't have Haunter to take care of that self-destruct. So we may have to kind of eat a self-destruct. Fortunately, it looks like Razor Leaf did a lot of damage here. 
Yeah, I don't like that, but that's okay. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So with that, we have defeated Rocker. Yes, man, unplugged. It's time to start playing acoustic. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, I, I totally agree with you. Thank you very much for that information. And now, in this area here, we have... Hi there! Oh, are you the brother of Fishing Guru? Oh, do you now? I do like to fish. Oh, do, really? Wow, man. Hey, great! We have got a super rod! Hey, wait a minute. Does this mean we can actually catch things that aren't Magikarp? Oh, this could be good, man. Perfect! Thank you very much. Now, I have gone back to the Pokemon Center and healed everybody up and switched party members. And the reason for that is we had nobody in the group who could actually use Cut. So, to get into this little area here, we needed Sandshrew. And we are immediately going to be attacked by a fisherman. Now, this fisherman is no big problem at all. He has got two level 24 magic cards. Yeah, that's it. Magikarp. So, Lapras does need the experience, but I am going to switch into Wartortle, who also needs the experience. And yes, while I realize that Wartortle is a water Pokémon, I think that uh, Bite and Tackle, which are not water moves, should actually do pretty well against Magikarp. So, with two Bites, Magikarp is down, Lapras gains some experience, as does Wartortle, and here comes another Magikarp. Now, the entire experience gain for one, one of these Magikarps is only, what, 102 points? So I'm just going to let um, Wartortle rip through these on his own. And that's it. So, we have defeated Fisherman. Yes, you lost it. You okay, though? Oh, yeah, they are. They, they do kind of stink. And we have found iron, which is great. So now let us cut through this one more time. And go down and talk to this young trainer here. I have, as a matter of fact, and I tell you what, if you beat us, you can have it. This guy has got both a Nidoran male and a Nidorino for us. Both of them are level 29, and neither one of them is a threat at all. I am just going to switch into War Turtle. I think that Water Gun and Bite should actually be able to do pretty well here, so that's what we're going to try. And it isn't that Water Gun does a great deal of damage, but I figure three Water Guns should probably take out this Nidoran male, and that's probably about right. So let's see if that is what ends up happening. Double Kick is going to do some damage. Not that much, though. So, Nidoran Male is gone. I'm not going to switch with Lapras back in, and here comes that Nidorino. And so, Water Gun should be about the same way here. Three, maybe four of them. So, with a second Water Gun, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, I think one more Water Gun should be able to do it as soon as we stop getting Double Kick. And it looks like Nidoran, or excuse me, Nidorino, goes down. Perfect. Yeah, you got beat, man. You okay? Yes, you could have, but you know what? Your Pokemon kind of stink. I'm, I'm just saying. So, now here we need to use Cut one more time. There are a lot of things in this tall grass. We have both Oddish and Gloom, we have Bellsprout and Weepin' Bell, and we have Pidgey and Pidgeotto, ranging anywhere from level 25 to about level 29. But those aren't what we're looking for. We are looking for this one. Farfetch'd is a normal and flying type Pokemon that does not evolve, making it one of the weaker flying Pokemon in the game. Exclusive to Pokemon Yellow, you can actually catch a wild Farfetch'd. So, at level 1, it's got Peck and Sand Attack. At level 7, it learns Leer. At level 15, it's got Fury Attack. And at level 23, it learns Sword Dance. It also learns Agility at level 31. This one has got good HP, relatively balanced stats, 
but it's really a waste. The only reason I would ever use this is in Pokemon Red and Blue, it is one of the earlier ways you can actually use um, Fly. Farfetch'd has a huge disadvantage against Electric, Ice, and Rock, and an advantage against Grass, Fighting, and Bug types. The Japanese name of Farfetch'd is Komonegi, which is a Japanese noodle dish that contains duck and spring onions. So, of course, that leek that he's holding is a Negi. It's a spring onion. And in English, well, he's far-fetched. And so now let's go catch that far-fetched. Now, from everything I've found, far-fetched is usually in this little area right here. So if we can somehow farm one out soon enough, this could actually be pretty good. Now, with that last battle, Pidgeot was poisoned, and I know it seems strange that I'm actually happy about that. And sorry, I don't mean poisoned, I mean he was paralyzed. And while I'm happy about that, it just means he can no longer be poisoned or put to sleep or anything else for status effect. And as long as we're walking around, the paralysis isn't going to eat up PP for any steps that we take or for, or excuse me, HP for steps that we take or use up any PP for moves that miss fire. So I think of all the status effects that we could have in this situation, I think Paralysis is probably the best of the bunch. I mean, really, I'd prefer none, but if we're going to have to have one, that's the one that probably will come back to bite us the least amount of times. Now, Lapras has just grown to level 19, which is great. So now we still just have to find this Farfetch. It is around here. Perfect! This is Farfetch'd. So, we have a level 31 Farfetch'd. Wow. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is bring in War Turtle and Hope. Because this could go very, very, very badly. So, I am going to start with Water Gun, knowing that it isn't going to do a lot of damage, and that's fine. Okay, so we're going to use Water Gun, what looks like two more times, I think. Okay, so Sword Dance is fine, that's okay. And, okay, that could be good. This could be good. Now, I am going to bring in Lapras. And I am going to try to put this thing to sleep. And hopefully, we will be able to get a Sing off before we get completely annihilated. Okay, this could help. Now I am going to try it. I am going to try hitting it with a Pokeball and a lot of hope. It's, it's, um, agility or excuse- oh, hey, perfect! Wow, I was not expecting that at all. Now see, this area is the first spot where you're probably going to need to start using better Pokeballs than just the regular Pokeball. But you know what? We've got it. I'm done. Let's get out of here. So, now the first thing that we would like to do is we would like to use Sand Shrew to cut down this. And down we go. Now, on our way down, we are going to run into, well, this junior trainer female. Who found Carbos, and that's great. But she has things that we're not worried about at all. She has three level 28 water-type Pokemon. Yeah, that's it. Now, none of them are going to really be a threat. So we're going to switch into Venusaur and just rip through these things with Razor Leaf. Yeah. Now, Supersonic fortunately failed. I'd really rather not have to deal with it. But there is nothing that um, these can do to us that will actually hurt us at all. So I'm not going to switch back into Venusaur, or excuse me, into um, Lapras. I'm just going to use Razor Leaf to rip right through these for as long as I can. Now, it's very possible that we could actually have something that could hurt, but I don't think so. So, Venusaur has now grown to level 34. That's great. With one more shot, Horsey is down. Absolutely perfect. Yes, it is. Wonderful. So, we have defeated Junior Trainer Female. Yeah, you just messed up. You okay? Oh, did it now? Well, you know, they were still totally underleveled from mine, so it didn't make a difference. But that's all the time we have for this episode, so your acquired viewing is Howard the Duck. 
This has been Rev, taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. Thanks for watching. Till next time.